Welcome. Uh, this is my second talk. So uh, again, uh, my Engli uh, English is not so perfect, but I try to do my best. So here we are today to speak about my first open source package. So let's dive in. Okay, who am I? Who am I? So I, I was born in 1987, and I did my first website in 2002. I founded Be Interactive, which is my company. Uh, in 2011, and I'm a bicycle traveler, developer, and clean interface conceptor. <laughs> what we talk about today um, is a, a quick introduction to a package that I made, and uh, then we'll, we'll skip to the demo, and then a conclusion and a question. So, so. Here is a simple and clean file manager, and uh, as you can see, the illustrations are made by Quetzal, who is, which is, is with, with us today. So thank you very much for the job. Uh, he really did an awesome job, and um, the first task was, um, yeah, maybe uh, it would be great to have an illustration that will yeah, give the sense, the, um, yeah, the sense of the package, which is. Uh, organizing files, folders uh, into a package. So that was the result. Uh, it's a very, very good result. I'm very proud and uh, I'm proud to share it with you today. So, why a file manager? Because you know there is a ton of file manager already out there WordPress, a lot of CMS, or even uh, the um, uh, uh, standalone file managers. Um, the file manager that I, that I build is more like based on client needs. So the first uh, uh, question was okay, as a client, uh, it, it was a uh, yeah, I need a file manager to manage some stuff inside my website. So okay, I had to, to uh, yeah, find solutions and I thought maybe it's quite cool to experience. And build my own uh, tool, and then um, convert it to an open source package. And that's why it's it's a personal use for first, and uh, then uh, also it was more like a control of everything instead of maybe installing another package and I have to learn it. Maybe it's not quite fit my needs or the client needs. And um, like I said before, I like clean interface interfaces. So I thought maybe for if I build one, I can uh, make a clean interface. So that's why, and also it's uh, something very important to me. It's the learning process. Uh, since I'm using a lot of packages day after day, but I never made one open source myself. So I, I thought it was a cool idea to make an experiment and learn something with this package. Some key features, so it's an open source, and simplicity in mind. Uh, it's more simplicity in point of view of the client. Maybe the code behind is more complex, but sometimes you, when you say the, the visual or the interface is simple, it implicit uh, that the code behind is very complex. So it's a kind of less is more. So when you see less behind is more complexity. And uh, no structure is imposed. Like when you start, you have almost uh, a blank space and you do whatever you want with it. So it's not like, okay, you have to do it this way. So it's also um, a feature that I had in mind. Okay, I want something simple. When you start from scratch and then, okay, you, you do whatever you want. For now, it's made for Laravel applications since it uses uh, packages from Laravel uh, framework and uh, ecosystem. And uh, but maybe some features or some possibility in uh, in the future. I mean, uh, is to open the package for other technologies or frameworks. So, so there is a lot of use cases. So like internal uh, uh, file manager, something public or whatever the, the client or the user wants to make with the packages. It's not close to one uh, purpose. And I had in mind at first 
um, I'm using uh, Macintosh and the Finder is quite well done. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I can reproduce this kind of behavior and put it on this package. And that's also why it's, uh, I try to reproduce uh, the operating system. Everything seems clear until now. <laughs> so, demo. <laughs> so yeah, package is still under development. So, hope everything goes well. And uh, <laughs> so, here you have the. Um, that's the GitHub page of the package. So, like every package, you have the README, which will go al uh, along. So we now start installing etc. Here I have a demo application which is just, just Laravel new application and nothing more. So it's really a blank application Laravel. So let's start. So installation. So like always, start with this. Now it's downloading. And now we, we just follow the instruction. So we can publish the migration. This will create the database uh, base structure for the file manager, which will only create one table, which is called folders. But probably in the future, we, we can uh, modify this table if you already have a folder table or something like that. Then we can see that this package is heavily uh, using a spacy media library. So again, that's, that's maybe also a feature maybe to have its own uh, media uh, management, but we'll see. For now, I'm using this package, which is really great. So since um, I haven't configured now, I will do this now. So just also creating the migrations for the SPACI media library. We, um, he's creating a, a media table. So that's the only, only thing is it does. Then also publish, uh, I just did that. And with, with the um, Laravel 11, uh, the queue connection is already set to database. Um, for the demo purpose, I will change this. Here are inside my env file. So here, as you can see, it's set to database. So I just change this sync. Um, because the SPACI media library uses the queue connection to uh, process uh, the um, thumbnails, uh, creation, and generations. So since I don't launch the workers uh, for now, so okay. Then PHP migrate, artisan migrate. So as as you can see, it just migrate two tables. The just the two tables that we created. And now we have everything. Uh, configured, we can now implement our package. So as you can see here, I just have to copy. So I go to my welcome. That's the view we saw uh, today, which is the default Laravel view. So I just remove the existing code and I copy this. <laughs> here and I just add the tailwind classes for just for the demo purpose. <laughs> uh, some documentation uh, you can read also later, but for the demo purpose, um, this is the fastest 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 way to get up and running. But if you install the package into an already configured project, 
you don't have to put the file manager styles and the file manager file manager scripts uh, since it only includes the Tailwind CDN and the um, Alpine GS CDN. So it's not for now uh, mandatory. Depends on your project configuration. And also if you want to publish the views, or that's the classic. Uh, if you want to uh, use a Tailwind Purge, you can also add this to your Tailwind config. Okay, so now we have everything configured. So now let's go to our application and reload. As you can see, the only stuff we did really is inside our welcome is adding this. If you have the project already configured with Alpine and Tailwind, you just need to include this part after installing the package and you're good to go. And you have this folder and this is when you don't have anything in your database for the starting point of your folder. So you can add your first folder. Let's call it a home. It could be whatever you want. And now we have the structure. And maybe I can put it bigger. And that's the interface. So from, from now on, you're in charge of doing whatever you want. For example, I can, I can double click and it starts creating a new folder. And now I can call it folder name and you're inside the folder name. Here I can go back uh, to the parent folder and I can add files, I can search. It's, I have also here breadcrumbs uh, to know where I am. For example, I can go into the folder and you see the breadcrumb is generated automatically. I can add some files here, for example, multiple files at once, and the file has uploaded. And <laughs> we were speaking uh, just before with the queue connection, that's for generating the thumbnails here, uh, so you can see a preview. So if you don't, uh, change this configuration, you will see an uh, um, icon file, a uh, uh, neutral icon file. Also, when you select a file, you have this window with some me meta information, which maybe in the future will also have more information, but you can see it was created 20 seconds ago, you have the size, uh, all sorts of stuff. Here you can copy the, um, the link of the file. For example, you have included the package in, into a CMS and you want to use some file as a reference in another, in a, another part into the CMS. So you can copy and then you can go to a new URL and paste. And now we have a 404. <laughs> because I forgot to read the documentation until the end, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> as you can see here, if you want to give access for the public, you need to add you need to add a, um, a route uh, to your uh, route file. So here, so I go to my web file, and here at the end, I I add this pass uh, this route. Import. And now you have, you have the image, which is public, uh, av available, which is quite nice. You can also delete, of course, with confirmation and delete everything. For example, also, if I go to the home and I'm searching, for example, images, whoops, you can see it already finds all your files inside the tree also folder which is folder name of course we already saw it but you can search for example if i jump into my new folder i double click and uh, 
and now I go to the home. And see it also search for folders. Of course, my last uh, my, my last talk was about translations. So, of course, if you need, for now it's in English, but if you change your Laravel application uh, default local to French. Now we have everything in French. So it's also possible to translate your application in any language that you want. So you can also publish the translations, the views, the configuration. For now it's so simple, I don't need a configuration, but maybe for the table, view, uh, table names or stuff like that, or some permissions or anything now is possible. So. So that's the file manager package that I made. So I'm quite proud. Uh, it's only using uh, Alpine GS Livewire technology. So it's really simple. And um, I want to keep it that way and don't want to import a lot of GS or CSS or anything. So everything is here is just basic default. I mean, uh, Tailwind or even the. Uh, the um, folders icon or the file icon are SVGs, so you don't have to import the views or uh, the, the pictures or anything. So it's really focused and think that, yeah, it's really an independent. So if you include this maybe into filament, uh, you, you just have to include and probably it will work. So we have to, to try, but <laughs> yeah, so. Cool. Sounds cool. Awesome, yeah. And of course, I need to add some tests and some stuff, also maybe code cleaning or stuff, but that's also a learning path for me uh, to give this um, package to the open source world and have feedback and uh, we'll see what's, what's uh, giving. Okay. What's next for this, this package is improve the code, maybe some UI, UI, UI UX, etc. and test. The feedback also from the community is, will be very important to me to see what the people will do with the package and some suggestions. On, uh, and then provide new feature based on the feedbacks and the needs from the, the, the people. And for me, and probably also for others, learn from this uh, package, maybe some, okay, I always wanted to do some double click features. Here it is, you can copy and use it in your own project. I think it's it's cool to have this kind of advanced uh, live wire package uh, to see also uh, other, other stuff than just the to-do list or something like that. So probably the, yeah, it, it can help with this. So, and uh, also sharing the project and uh, Maybe one day we'll come into the Laravel newsletter. <laughs> Hope so, but we'll see. So, so what we saw uh, today is a composer uh, package. I think um, really easy to install. A few steps, but almost every package has has its, its own steps of configuration. Also, it's no not a structure imposed. So, once you have configured the package, you do whatever you want, the structure, the naming, convention, anything. And then uh, also made for a Laravel application, uh, many use cases, including maybe in a filament project or even a WordPress or maybe in the future. So, and uh, I think it reproduces quite well the, the behavior of the operating system. It's really simple and uh, I think it's working great. So, Thank you very much. That was my talk. Good one. So when you hover, and then, of course.